All right, good afternoon, you guys. It's 1.15 in the afternoon. You guys, there's no doubt uh, what they're doing in our skies here. You know? I mean, this is like all the time here in Tennessee, especially. Um, but you can just look and see. That's like a white mist where they sprayed. They've literally got a net over the whole sky. See, there's one right up there spraying it. Trying to thicken it up. Yeah, but that that's one big net. And here, when you look back here, see that little bit of blue, see there? That's the only part that they don't have covered up. But it's literally, it's all over you guys, you know what I mean? It's all over. People are being set up for a slaughter here and they don't even know it. But we can thank God that we do know, you know? We can thank God that we do know. Even though they don't know, we do. So with that being said, we can thank him for that. You know, that our eyes were open for this purpose. Okay, we had our eyes open for this reason, you guys. To know what they're doing. They, most people don't have a clue what's, what's getting ready to happen. This is all, like I said, this stuff, what it is, it's like a, it's like a web and it spreads out. That's why in the back of those planes, they have big drums, like hundred gallon to maybe four or 500 gallon drums. And then they're all piped in, uh, going as they meet. And then that way, as it's sprayed out, then it's um, the chemicals are mixed to cause that okay that's why we see what we see okay but you guys we're not ignorant to their devices what they're doing but the rest of people are you know so listen the Lord didn't wake us up to have a spirit of fear but rejoice that you know because look at how many people know nothing you know, God help them, you know. Even when we try to tell them, been trying to tell them for several years, man. And they won't hear it. They won't listen. Yeah, it's coming. James chapter 1, 1 through 12. Uh, James, a servant of God and the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into dive, uh, divers' temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. This is where we're resisting, resisting the devil. We're overcoming temptations. We're taking every thought captive. Okay? This is what the OSAS are not telling you. Uh, your past, present, your future sins. They're not telling you these things. This is why you were told to test all spirits. Okay? But let patience have her perfect work that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let them ask God that giveth to all men liberally. Abradeth not and it shall be given him. Believe, and it will be. You know, this is the truth, you guys. All the knowledge, everything that God is revealing and showing unto us. Most people can't receive it or see it or have any clue because they're not asking. But let them ask in faith, nothing wavering. In other words, when you ask, you know. That's why I was saying even uh, when you pray, um, asking also, um, for a for a, asking the Lord to uh, create in you a new heart, okay, um, a clean heart, and renew a right spirit within me. 
you know this is what you asked for you know be willing of being a vessel of honor in these times that we're living in right now you know ask for this you know and you should truly want it right now especially those that have been chosen predestined this is the time where you guys he's opened our eyes to see and know what we know so he's he's here with us he abides in us let him ask in faith nothing wavering for he that wavereth is like the wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted. But the rich in that he is made low, because as a flower of the grass he shall pass away. For the sun is no long sooner risen with a burning heat, but it withereth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perisheth. So also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. This is going to happen, you guys. All these people that think that they had it all, you know, they they have nothing, and it's and it's all about to be lost here very soon. It's it's already gone. You can say that. They don't even know this place is getting ready to be destroyed right now. Remember Revelation 17, 17, God puts it in their hearts. You know, this place is over big time, excuse me. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. Okay, so this is what's happening, you guys. Many of us are being tried right now. Don't forget that. Yeah, there's just like a big, it's just one big net over the sky. I showed it to you, there's no sense in showing it. I could see it's all fake, every bit of it. There's not one thing real out there in the sky. I mean, they were, I told you earlier this morning, they were out there going at it. Daniel 12.10 Many shall be purified, made white and tried. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. That was from James chapter 1, verse 12. Revelation seven fourteen. And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. These are them that came out of the Great Tribulation. This is something that I try to remind everybody, man. We come out of Great Tribulations. Don't let these people with this post-trip, pre-trip, mid-trip, get. don't even let them get you going. Scripture tells you exactly. Excuse me. Okay. Revelations 19. 7 through 9. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife has made her ready, made herself ready. That's what this is, you guys. We've, we've been making ourselves ready for this, okay? Getting ready while all this has been going on. You know, it's amazing. You know, people just drive by and don't even don't even see it. You know, it's hid, hidden. It's literally hidden from them. God help them, you know. And it was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. Okay. And he said unto me, Right blessed are they which are called into the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of God. You guys, listen. We also read where some Christians are blotted out of the book of life. But how is this possible if these once saved, always saved are correct? Why would one have to get ready? Or why would one even be tried? 
you know, where it says many will be tried and made white. See, these, these once they always say they never even talk about that, do they? They don't even tell you that you've been chosen or predestined from the beginning. They don't even, there's a lot of things they don't talk about that should be raising red flags to you. Remember it said test all spirits. It's not necessarily what they're saying, but what they're not saying to you. Revelations 3, 5. He that, he that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white remnant, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. You know, you ever wonder why these people with all these, this one saved, always saved, they don't talk about that scripture either, do they? There's a lot of stuff they don't talk about. And then if they do, they're going to give you 20 other verses to go with that one verse where Jesus says that. You know, just where they try to further confuse it and twist it and make it crooked. But that's what they do. Okay? So you're you're not without excuse. You know, to know. You know. Revelations 3.11, Behold, Revelations 3.11, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. You notice that there's people out there trying to deceive you, and, and they are trying to take your crown. Do they ever warn you about anything? No, they don't. They want to give world news updates. Yeah, let me tell you something. God's giving the world news updates. God's revealing things. Everything's happening according to God's word. These people, they're not awake. They don't know what's going on, man. These are terrors all being bundled and gathered. Revelation 17, 17. God's putting everything in their minds to do everything. Until they give their power to the beast. It's all heading in that direction. 1 Timothy chapter 4, 1 through 2. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Let me tell you, the Internet's not even working too good up here where I'm at. It's all that garbage they got sprayed up there, man. It's covering, covering where the dishes don't even work. And I want to tell you something else. If we stop getting, like they shut us down, just know this, 2020 is perfect vision. The Lord, you got an unction you're getting from the Holy Spirit. Keep tuned into it. Read your Bible. Trust. Have faith. Let go of this, what's in this world. Let it go. Okay? It's all coming to an end. Trust in the Lord. He'll guide your steps guarantee it look at where I'm at look at where I'm at it's all coming to an end don't have a spirit of fear of nothing 2nd Peter chapter 2 1 through 3 but there were false prophets also among these people even as there shall be false teachers among you who privately shall bring in damnable heresies even denying the Lord that bought them. See, a lot of these scriptures, they don't even read them. They stay away from them. <clears throat> Many shall follow their pernicious ways. Guys, I want to remind you. Five are wise, five are foolish. Most people aren't going to make it. Don't forget this. By reason of whom the truth... The way of the truth shall be evil spoken of, and through covetousness they shall with fringe words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. Romans sixteen seventeen. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine. Okay? which you have learned, and avoid them. Remember what it says, that contrary to the word of God, okay? 
In other words, they're denying what's written. They are denying it. Now, I'm going with what they're writing. The only problem is I'm reading more of the scripture. I'm giving you more of it instead of just their version of it. All right, that verse means what you read. If you do not read it, how will you understand it? All right, when one is tried, what does that mean, to be tried? He who overcomes. What does that mean, overcome? Overcome what? Are these once saved, always saved, warning you about any of those things? 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Notice it said, try the spirits. These are spirits that are abiding in people, you guys. Listen, I've been shown, my, all of our bodies are the temple of God. God can use these bodies. He said he created some vessels for honor and some for dishonor. Okay, look around, man. You know, I know I've been used in mighty ways, man. I told you I had a woman, I never even knew her. She walked up, got really close to my face, looking in my eyes. And from her head down to her toes, she trembled. Scripture says that. The devils believe and they tremble. Okay? It was what she seen in my eyes. I had a lot of high-paying job offerings. I know it sounds weird saying this, you guys. But I'm going to tell you, the things I've seen and witnessed, this is very real. This is spiritual. It's very real, you guys. Remember Jesus said the kingdom of heaven comes not in a way that a man perceives? You know? Okay. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience? That's Colossians chapter 3 verse 6. This is the reason why the wrath of God is coming because of what you're seeing in the world today, okay? Ephesians 5, 6. Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Okay? That's Ephesians chapter 5, verse 6. With vain words. And I know you guys have seen that. People want to come out with these big, mighty words. It's not even in Scripture. Then they want to spend a half an hour talking about it. Yeah, and then they'll twist things and over one little verse, you know, to try to make the way crooked. Everything I'm giving you, it's straight. John the Baptist came to make the way straight. Paul was found on a street called Straight. You know, if you read all the, all the scriptures, man, it's not there to deceive you or confuse you. It's straight. It's perfectly easy to understand it unless you let the cares and the pleasures of this life in it, you know, which you don't want to do that. The devil knows why you are here better than the people who, who are here know. The people are not aware that the devil has deceived the whole world. Five are wise and five are foolish. Sounds like many are going to still be led astray with love by the devil and his ministers. Do they even tell you this is a spiritual battle? That these spirits are hosting in lost souls. John chapter 8 verse 44 through 47. You are of your father the devil. And the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and he abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie he speaks of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. He that is of God heareth God's words. You therefore hear them not, because you are not of God. First Samuel fifteen twenty three a, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, stubbornness as iniquity and idolatry. Ephesians chapter two, verse two, where in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Now, you hear what I just got to reading? Um, right here it says, 
Colossians 3, 6. For which things sake the wrath of God uh, cometh on the children of disobedience. You guys, I'm going to tell you, those people are saying, even if you sin, all your future sins, they're covered. You know? Listen, only the devil would tell you that. A real minister would be trying to tell you what to do to overcome it. To overcoming sin. Remember, Jesus came here to destroy it. Not to make a way for you to keep doing it. Man, test all spirits, man. Second Timothy 4.3 For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust they shall heap to themselves teachers having itchy ears. It's, it's disgusting, you know, when you see this all the time. It really is. You know, and, and how they can't just easily see this. Boy, I'll tell you what, there's blue over there, but they're working on that. I had a dream of that, too, where I seen it was all white looking. And then there was a section of blue like that. And then they're, they're, <laughs> there they are. They're spraying in that blue. Got to get rid of that blue. And that's what they're doing over there. Let me show it to you real quick, see if we don't get cut off. Okay. Here we go. You can see the line out there where they're spraying in that little opening, like. It's hard for me to see with the light on this, you guys. It's almost all whited out, but there's some blue in there. And you can see where they're going down through it, too. It's just hard for me to tell. You can make your screen bigger. I can't. But every bit of this, what you see, it's all whited out. Yeah. And then by the, in a little while, that'll just look milky white with no blue in it whatsoever. With no blue in it at all. Same with that. That'll just look milky white in a little while. You won't even be able to tell that they did that. Okay. This is the time we're in, okay? Beware of false Matthew chapter 7, verse 15 through 19. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, okay? Inwardly, they are ravening wolves. Listen, they'll come at you with, Oh, love you, happy doodle little friends. You know, they'll talk to you like that. You know, instead of talking to you like you're, you know, one of God's children. God that, you know, he, he indwells in you, okay? I'm talking to you like I know like I know the Holy Spirit has abided in you, that you come from God, not some little toy that I'm playing with, you know? You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth forth not good fruit is hewn down and it's cast into the fire. Wherefore you'll know them by their fruit. You shall know them. Wherefore by their fruits you shall know them. Galatians chapter 1 verse 8. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you that which you have, we have preached Unto you, let him be accursed. Now, you will have to read your Bibles, you guys, to truly know the difference. Once saved, always saved will not tell you to read your Bibles, nor will they tell you to study the Scriptures. They will not read the warnings that are even written in this book. All right, Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the traditions of men, after the rediments of the world, and they're not after Christ. 
Those who like to use big words, you guys, then spend half their service breaking it down for you. Revelations 22.18 For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Titus 3.9 But avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contingents and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable in their vain. Romans 16, 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine. Okay? They're, if they're not giving you the whole doctrine, man, be, you know, you guys, there's no reason to be deceived, none whatsoever. Again, you must read the Word of God to learn it. Not a few verses which make you feel good and nothing more. Remember, five are foolish and five are wise. Hold fast your crowns. Why would scriptures warn you and tell you to sin not? Sinning is a choice. And we all fall in short, but we were told to overcome it, to take every thought captive to the obedience of Jesus Christ, who came to destroy the works of Satan. Okay, we know by grace we're saved through faith. Read Ephesians chapter 2. 1 through 9. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. If you don't think this, the devil ain't trying to destroy the works of Christ, you better think again. Okay? Remember, he deceived the whole world. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, 4 through 6. For the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal, but they're mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. 1 John chapter 3, 5-7 this is to the children of God. But you know that Christ appeared to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who remains in him keeps on sinning. They don't. No one who continues to sin has seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. The one who practices righteousness is righteous, just as those that practice sin are of the devil. Just as Christ is righteous, okay? First John chapter 2, verse 4. If anyone says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments, he's a liar, and the truth is not in him. First John 3, 9. Anyone born of God refuses to practice sin because God's seed abides in him, and he cannot go, go on sinning because he has been born of God. All right, 3 John 1, 1, 1, 11. Beloved, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. The one who does good is of God. The one who does evil is not seeing God. Notice that once saved, always saved will never give scriptures that require obedience to the Lord. 2 Corinthians 10, 4 through 6. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God, to pulling down the strongholds, casting down imaginations. I'd ask, uh, like, Henderson to read that, you know, see if he can read that without trying to tear it apart, because that's what they do. They try to tear everything apart. Casting down the imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ and having a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. What is disobedience? Disobedience, you guys, that's sin. That's of the devil. That's what that is. All right, you guys, I got through it, man. 
Did it in 29 minutes. Almost 30. I'm going to get off of here, you guys. God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, be strong, you guys. Be bold. All our brothers and sisters of all nation, tongue, and kindred, don't worry if they cut these things down, man. You just know what time it is. You know? We know what time it is. We don't have to have a spirit of fear, man. Greater is he that is in you and me than what is in this world. Our eyes were open for this reason. You guys, when the rapture happens, they won't see it happen. Have you noticed how much we've seen happening in the last several years? We've seen it changing like night and day. They don't even see what I've been showing you this spring. They don't see it. It's all being hidden from them. They're being set up for the slaughter and they don't know it. You know? God help them. God bless each and every one of you. I love you all. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, I want to remind you again, stay steadfast, strong. You guys don't have a spirit of fear. You know, my main concern is I'm not worried if they shut these things down. Man, it, to me, I'm just going to be sitting here going, all right, I'm ready for it, man. I'm on that rock. And that's where I've been trying to get, make sure everybody on this channel is, on that rock. Okay, because when these things come, we ain't going to be sitting on that sand like I see so many that are, you know, because they weren't getting ready. They didn't redeem the time. They didn't strengthen what remains. God help them, you know. All right. God bless y'all. I love yous. In the name of our sweet Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, all my brothers and my sisters, all the children of all nations, tongue and kindred, all right, trust and abide in the Lord. He will guide our footsteps, okay? We're going to be home soon. Just stay strong.